Today on The Stay at Home Chef, I'm showing you how to make the juiciest pork tenderloin marinade. This is a quick and satisfying meal idea, and this pork tenderloin really pairs up with any side, and it's gonna make your dinner super fast and easy. The beauty of a pork tenderloin is it's really a blank canvas, and it will take on this marinade beautifully. Using either a container or a Ziploc bag, we're gonna add all of our ingredients together to get that marinade started. First ingredient is a fourth a cup of olive oil, or really any healthy fat that you prefer. Now a pork tenderloin is considered an extra lean cut, so adding in this healthy fat is going to enhance and carry on these delicious flavors. Now we're gonna add two tablespoons of brown sugar, or you could use honey if you prefer. Five cloves of crushed garlic, one tablespoon of freshly squeezed lemon juice, one tablespoon of soy sauce. I recommend using a low sodium soy sauce, but you could also try using coconut aminos. One tablespoon of white wine vinegar, then add in one teaspoon of ground mustard, a half a teaspoon of salt, and a half a teaspoon of pepper. Now make sure to mix those ingredients until they're all well incorporated. To this marinade, I'm gonna add in a one to one and a half pound pork tenderloin. I have this psychic ability to know that someone's gonna ask if they can use this marinade on a pork loin, and I say, why not? There are three main differences between the two. First, there's obviously a size difference. Second, the loin is a lot thicker and it has a different shape, which means the cooking time will definitely vary. And the third difference is price. Tenderloins tend to be a pricier cut, and a loin cut is definitely more wallet friendly. Out of the two, I prefer the tenderloin. It is a better cut, but buy what works for you. That being said, if you do want to use the marinade on your loin, make sure you just double or triple that marinade sauce. Now that we've got our tenderloin in the bag, I recommend marinating this for a minimum of four hours. Overnight's even better. That way you know that marinade is really gonna influence your pork. When it's time to cook, you're gonna preheat your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit and get an oven safe skillet preheated over medium high heat. And we're going to sear our tenderloin for two minutes per side. Be sure to hold on to that extra marinade. I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do with it in a few more steps. We're searing it to add flavor profiles and dimension to our pork. That browning we are achieving is flavor profiles. High five to the person out there that can tell me the scientific name of this process. Also, like and subscribe. Once all sides are brown, go ahead and turn off the heat and pour on that extra marinade. Now we're gonna pop this in our 400 degree preheated oven, which will be about 15 more minutes. The most important thing is that that pork is safely cooked to an internal temperature of 145 degrees Fahrenheit. Once it's done, remove from the oven and let it rest for about five to 10 minutes. That way those juices can reabsorb. Slice it up and then you're ready to eat. Enjoy. Thanks for watching. You can find the full written recipe in the video description below. Be sure to check out thestayathomechef.com where you can find hundreds of restaurant quality recipes you can easily make at home. We'll see you later.